This is Rachel Garceau <laughs> with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, it is Thursday, and starting today, we will get an evening glimpse of that comet Neowise. We've been talking about this all week long. It's been most visible in the mornings the last couple of weeks, but now we'll get both morning viewing, but better viewing in the evening. So that begs the question, a little astronomy lesson for today. Do you know the difference between a comet and a meteor? Meteors are typically called shooting stars, and they look similar at times in the sky, but they are comprised of very different materials, and these two things behave in very different ways. So a comet is comprised of ice and dust, and it is in an orbit around the sun. And you get that tail on the comet, that very distinct tail that's formed when that ice and dust vaporizes in its approach to the sun. Now, a meteor is a piece of rock that has broken off of an asteroid, so it's a smaller piece of an asteroid. And asteroids also orbit the sun, but they are bodies of rock. And so as that little piece of asteroid breaks off and then enters Earth's atmosphere, it burns up. And that's what gives us that shooting star kind of look. So meteors are what we call shooting stars. And the comet gets uh, remains visible for much longer because, again, it's caught in that orbit. It does not burn up. It's not in the Earth's atmosphere or entering the atmosphere. So that's the difference. And remember, on the northwest horizon, starting this evening at dusk and just after sunset, that hour or so after sunset, you can get a nice clear view of the horizon maybe head out towards Lake Lowell or up into the mountains, someplace like that, where you can kind of get that visibility on the horizon. You should have good viewing of it. It'll look like this. Check out this gorgeous shot from Stanley just a couple of days ago, captured by Haley Shannon right in the middle of your screen, in the middle of that photo. You see the comet with its distinct tail, visible to the naked eye, but best viewed with binoculars. And you should have perfect viewing for it as our skies do remain clear throughout the day and into the overnight hours. Now, as far as our weather goes, big picture wise, clear skies, blazing sunshine better way to describe it as we have hot weather that is really going to be building in most of that moisture you see will stay well to our north so in stanley redfish lake if you're headed to the mountains this is what you can expect very consistent warm weather low to mid 80s across the board from today all the way through next week there's a cool front that will come through on saturday but really the only difference we'll see is maybe a two to three degree drop in temperatures and some winds picking up at times today we'll be scorching 99 out towards Vail, 98 in we or ontario and weezer today 96 in Caldwell and about 95 degrees in Boise. So tack on five degrees of heat to where we were yesterday, which felt hot. Today will be sizzling. 92 in Garden Valley today. Council as well, likely above 90 degrees, mid 80s for McCall, Donnelly and Cascade. Highs will get up to about 85 as well for Sun Valley this afternoon. 88, still with a breeze in Fairfield at times. In the Magic Valley, you may have a 10 to 20 mile per hour wind, which will be refreshing when Twin Falls hits 90. One this afternoon and a toasty 94 for gooding with tons of sunshine. And my extended forecast is nothing if not predictable. Again, on Saturday, we may have some wind coming in as our temperatures drop from 97 tomorrow to 93 on Saturday. But then next week, blazing hot with the return of triple digits likely on Wednesday.